Pence is, of course, Move It Monday. One of the top New Year's resolutions, of course, is to lose a little bit of weight. Of course, that's a monthly uh, resolution on my part that I continue <laughs> to uh, not succeed on, maybe 12 <laughs> times a year, actually. Lose more weight. More Americans are uh, ready than ever, though, to get fit, it turns out, right? The, the quarantine, we're all ready to get fit. We're all ready. Right? The quarantine 15, I think it's, it's hit home <laughs> this here. year. So yes. if you are looking for a socially distant challenge, we got some moves you can do almost anywhere to get a little jump start on those New Year's resolutions. <laughs> Joining us live this morning is Taylor DiBiazio, a coach with CrossFit Primal Energy in Southeast Portland. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? We're good. We were just talking about potatoes on the show, and uh, you got a couple of couch potatoes yeah. here that are looking for some workout <laughs> tips. So how is Primal Energy uh, helping people kind of stay fit right now? This is the toughest time of year, I think, to stay on those workouts. It is. You know, we all want that opportunity to eat all of those Christmas goodies, so it's good to get the workouts in when we can. Um, what we're doing is we have our certified coaches meeting with our members daily via Zoom and going through these at-home workouts, and we just have an arsenal of stuff you can do at home with weights or equipment or holding your toddler or whatever you need to do to get it in. So are I'm going to kind of walk you through some of this today. Are you doing a squat pose right now or is your camera just uh, mounted low? He's got it low because he's no, going to show us This looks stuff. like a familiar pose. He's ready to go. It is, yeah. yeah. I, I, this is from my sorority days over at Washington State University, <laughs> just like squatting in the front row because uh -huh. I like to be in front, you know? I like so. that. I like the idea of a guy being in a sorority too, actually. That doesn't sound so <laughs> you bad. You know, it's, 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 a new, it's a new age. It's another story for another day probably. No, he's right, got let's, the, let's he's get got the to perfect camera angle for the demo. I get you. All right. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. We've got three minutes left here. We want some demonstrations. Demonstrations uh, of some things you can do, some simple movements uh, that you can do uh, just about anywhere in your house, your living room, a, 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 a spare space around your house. Give us a couple of examples and, and show us what we're talking about. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, what we have today is we like to get bang for your buck here at CrossFit. So we have a lot of movements that you can go super hard for five minutes, rest a minute, do them again for five minutes, rest a minute, and just repeat as long as your fitness level will allow to really keep that heart rate up. And so I'm going to show you three different movements today. The first tends to be a dirty word in some people's home. It's a burpee. Mm -hmm. so we have a few different options. I'll show you the, re the regular burpee first or the, the CrossFit version of a burpee. You get all the way to the ground, hop down, and then you hop back up, and then you jump at the top. You just keep those going to get that heart rate up. It's a good substitute for running if you're trying to warm up your cardio. But there are some options for those who might not be at that fitness level. You can step back and then push up and step up, or you can go ahead and hop down, but step up. Or if you have a chair, anything in your house, you can just go down to the chair, put your feet out, do your push-up, and bring your feet back in. You got one of those, those where you can just go down and stay down? <laughs> that'd be a, that'd be a that good a one for me. <laughs> you yeah, gotta, that's you, what we call, that's what we call recovery. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, I'm in a constant state of recovery then. You I don't do feel so bad. Go ahead. Score. Yeah, I'm enjoying this now. <laughs> okay, what's next? Yeah. You can also make it a little harder if you want and add some weights. Oh, gosh. Go down to the ground and come back up with those weights. But I highly advise not jumping with those in your hand. Yeah, that would be rough. Now, you do intervals in this. You do this for a couple minutes, take a break. And, and just the idea is to keep your heart rate elevated, right? Exactly. So you do those 10 burpees, for instance, and then you'll do 10 box jumps where you can either jump all the way up or if you have, you know, low ceilings, you can kind of step up and keep your head down here. <laughs> Um, or Love what ceiling. you can do, yeah. once again, you can pick up your toddlers or your milk jugs and just add these. So you'll do 10 of those next. Okay. Then okay. Immediate, immediately into everyone's favorite, we got the, um, the booty movement, the squat. And you mm -hmm. can just simply squat up and down. Or if you want to add some challenge, you can jump. So much jumping. You know, it seems like a lot of work. I saw my wife doing one of these booty things the other day, except she was doing it on her tiptoes. Uh huh. Like a squat. Yeah, I mean, that, that makes it harder. Burns not only your rear end, but your legs that's, too, right? That's legs on fire. Uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can kind of move the weight around on your foot to kind of stimulate different muscles, which is really important at these at home workouts to mm -hmm. get different things involved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, squat's and, a big one. And then uh, I think you had uh, what, mountain climbers was one more? There are, yeah. So mountain climbers, there's a couple, there's a lot of variations here. Let me keep some room for you. My good ankles. You can just bring your knees. To your elbows, okay. Climb that mountain, yeah, or you can go. Those. Yeah, I could. Oh, can those, go those are tough. To, That's different. <laughs> yeah, if you're trying to get those obliques involved. Yeah. Go okay. Side to side. 
Okay, okay. So now uh, give us some tips here, just real quick. We're almost out of time, Taylor, but your best advice for staying motivated uh, around New Year's resolutions, it's tough. How, how can people keep going? Yeah, I think the best thing is a good community. It's, that's why we have these Zoom classes, because if you have people who are waiting for you to get on and work out with them, you're whole, held pretty accountable. And so we highly recommend finding a group of people that have the same resolution as you. And we'll have that here at Primal Energy once we reopen for anyone who wants to try out CrossFit as well. I got Go this for you. Great, great motivator is standing in front of the mirror without a shirt on. That's, a, that's probably a the best motivator. motivator that there is no, in my okay, case. I'm sure you look great, sir. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, Taylor. Thanks for showing us those moves. And yeah, CrossFit Primal Energy, if you need a little extra oomph this season, a little community to get you going, it's a good option. Have a great day. Happy holidays. We're going to put all his info at coin.com, too, if you want to get a jump on those resolutions. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. that's, that's pretty good stuff.